In this video, we're taking a look at yet another audio unit plug-in here in GarageBand. This time, it's the High Shelf Filter. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. So if that sounds like your kind of jam, consider subscribing. Yes, we're back here in GarageBand on the iPhone, it's exactly the same on the iPad, and we're looking at the high shelf filter. So let's jump in and explain what a high shelf filter is, what it does and why you would use one. So a high shelf filter is a type of EQ or equalization equalizer that will actually put, funnily enough, a shelf at a certain frequency. So what we do is we come in here to the high shelf filter, we insert the cutoff frequency with the first setting here, and then we decide how much gain we want to add or reduce because a shelf can actually increase the gain from a certain frequency or it can actually reduce it. So if we want to increase the gain from a frequency, we dial the gain up like so, or if we want to reduce it, we drop it down like that. Now, it might be easier to visualize by looking at this diagram because this is the Mac version of the plugin. So you can see what a shelf looks like it actually increases the volume and then levels it off from that frequency. So that's a good way to get a boost at the top end of your frequency range, which is good for things like vocals, maybe even guitars and drums. So let's jump in and show you how we would use a high shell filter here in GarageBand. So I've jumped into a project here for one of my old songs, a song called In Time from my 2018 album called Selfish Aware. Yes, that is a shameless plug. And what we'll do is we'll come in here and solo out these vocals and take a listen to them as they are without any high shelf filter. Let's hit play. Intoxication has got me under somebody. So it's already got quite a bit of high end in there, but what you might want to do is you've got a vocal that you want to really enhance the high end or add a bit of what we call air, which is a weird word to use, I know, but what you want is some of that airiness, some of that treble sound. Without sort of peaking your treble, a shelf can actually be really cool. So let's jump into plugins and EQ. We'll hit the edit button. We'll hit the plus button and then over here, we'll tap on audio unit extensions. We'll slide on down and we'll choose the high shelf filter. Almost chose a high pass filter, high shelf filter. Now, if we tap on this one, here we are, we can set our cutoff frequency. Now you'll notice it starts at 10,000 Hertz. So we're not boosting frequencies that are actually in the range that I'm singing in here. We're boosting these harmonic frequencies, these higher frequencies, which are gonna just enhance again, that airiness of our vocal. So what I'll do, We'll hit play on this one now again, soloed. I'll adjust the gain up here and then we'll see what it sounds like when I bring this through different frequency range. So let's bring the gain up to maybe 20 dB so we'll hear it and then we'll slide up here and hear the difference this is gonna make in this vocal. God is wicked little spell Anticipation of what it could be Has got me going round the bounds my addiction, so warm and comforting, don't want to be with... So at the end there, I just really emphasised that you would never really put the gain up to an additional 40 dB and have it at that frequency. But at that frequency down here, around 10,000 hertz, it's adding sort of... You can almost hear it there because it's closer to the range of the actual notes. If we hit play and I bring this cutoff frequency up at 40 dB, let's take a listen. Without it now... Alienation from all my enemies and I don't know which way to turn so once you get really high there, you're actually close to outside of the range of human hearing. So it's not going to do much if you bring it right up here. You're not going to hear 22,000 hertz, so you're not going to hear any difference. So you generally want to keep your cutoff frequency down low, and you don't want to add a whole bunch of gain. You just want to add a little bit of gain. Let's just bring it into around about maybe 11,000 hertz, give it a bit of gain, and then take a listen. I'll bring it back to zero, double tap to bring it back to zero. We'll hit play. Turn. Taking a listen. But in time, we could all be friends again and maybe even best friends if we try. So we've just added a shelf there at 11,000 hertz. If we hit done on that one, let's bring this back into the mix here. In time, all of this will be behind us. Everybody has a chance to cry. And you just hear there that with the high shelf on there, it's just adding a little bit of that additional treble, a little bit of extra air in our vocal. It can just make a little bit of a difference in a song like this where you want your vocals to cut through a little bit more in your mix. Now you can use a high shelf filter on any instrument, on a piano, on a guitar, anything you like, anything that you want to have a little bit more bite at the top end of the treble end, a little bit more air in your sound. 
one of the things I like to actually use it on is drums, believe it or not. So let's take a look at what the drums sound like, or a listen, I should say, in this track at the moment. We'll solo them and take a listen here. So it's a pretty cool sort of drum beat there that our virtual drummers are doing, but it's a little bit dull. It's a little bit dead sounding in places. So what if we wanted to really bring out the sound of that ride cymbal in this section? Well, what we can do, we can come in here to our plugins and EQ and go to edit, hit the plus button and bring in our EQ here, our high shelf filter. And now if we come into our settings here, what we can do is find a frequency that we want to enhance and then add this gain up here to put a shelf at a certain frequency. So let's start at 10,000 hertz and we'll bring the gain up and you just, just listen to those cymbals, especially in those, the, that top end of the drums, you'll hear this really start to come out. So you can hear there that just even shelf, putting the shelf in there at 10,000 hertz you, you, and putting the gain up quite significantly, you're getting a lot more of those cymbals. Let's just bring it up. I'll, I'll accentuate this to, to show you what it's doing. We'll put it up to 40 dB. You wouldn't do this, but we'll turn the shelf off. This is what it sounds like without it. And here's what it is with that shelf on there. And you can hear it starting to compress because the volume's getting way too loud yet. But what it's doing is it's really bringing out the brightness in the cymbal sound. So if we just sort of bring this up, what I'd probably do is bring it around about, you know, we'll put it about 11,000 hertz and we'll slowly bring this up again now. Let's hit play. Yeah, I think that's about right. So if we bring these drums back into our mix of our song now. Again, you know that everybody gets a little down. Everybody gets a little down. It's just helping the drums cut through a little bit more. So we're getting a little bit more of the treble frequencies in the drums. Let's just come back to the start of this section and take a listen here. But in time, we can all be friends again and maybe even best friends if we try. In time, all of this will be behind us every so you can hear there the hi-hat and the ride cymbals and those other cymbals are coming out more because we're adding that shelf. So yes, it's a pretty cool option here. Would you use it a whole bunch? Maybe not. You're probably going to lean on your Visual EQ or even the LRC5 EQ, which actually has the ability to do this as well. So I will add a link to LRC5, which is a free EQ plugin as well. That'll be up the top there and down in the description if you want to check it out. So a quick review before we finish up, our high shelf filter is adding a boost at a certain frequency and is then adding a shelf there. So we can increase it, we can decrease it, which we didn't show a lot, but if you want to do the opposite there, you can actually add a shelf that reduces it. But you may want to use a high pass filter or a low pass filter if you're doing that. And in fact, if you want to learn about those filters, check out the links in the description below, as well as the two videos linked right down below right now. They will give you some great tips for some other plugins here in GarageBand. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.